it took so many years to get the silence made uh, for so many reasons. And at, during that time, we looked at different areas of the world. And we started with the real places in Japan where Shushiko Endo's novel took place in Nagasaki, uh, a small village called Satomi, which in the movie is Tomoji, Unzen Hot Springs, uh, so many others. But we didn't film there because it, it, it would be too expensive. So in addition to Japan, the production designer Dante Ferretti went to New Zealand, scouted it, Vancouver, Northern California, and finally Taiwan. Um, we even, I even realized we went some places in the in American the American South, but he realized right away that this this is where we could make the picture. The, the landscape was very very similar. It had so much to offer Taiwan. Uh, the coastlines were untouched. Uh, the land itself, the landscapes were quite extraordinary, and and we had a crew of over seven hundred and fifty people, and it was made up of Taiwanese, Japanese, Australians, Italians, British, and Americans. Um, and uh, yes, it was complex and uh, confusing for a little while at first. <laughs> there were language barriers, a lot of cultural differences. However, you know, everyone really wanted to make this picture, and they adapted so quickly, and and we became um, uh, blended and like a determined family. Really, is we were all they were all devoted to helping me, and 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 you know, really bring this picture to life on every level. I planned to take many shots of nature in different ways. I planned, I planned so much over the years. But when I got to the locations, I, something happened. I, I realized that if we were able to get the equipment there, because some of these locations are very hard to get to, um, the landscape itself said a great deal. And so placing the actors within that landscape placing the, uh, the different figures, so to speak, uh, it revealed itself to me while I was preparing the picture. And very often on set, too, very often on the location where we were shooting. Uh, uh, getting some experience from shooting a couple of TV pilots to move fast, um, I began to strip away things there, too, not needing a certain angle, not needing an extra angle here, uh, concentrating on... Uh, what the landscape, what the, the hillside looked like, or the mountainside, the mist that came and, and uh, went uh, uh, mysteriously, um, the color of the grass, um, the shapes of the rocks, the ocean, the waves, the caves, all of this, uh, the mud, the extraordinary amount of mud um, that we even shot in a typhoon, we shot in the heat. I mean, it, it was a very, very uh, arduous shoot. Um, a lot of mountain climbing uh, and some very unpredictable weather, let alone some earthquakes, but aside from that, <laughs> um, there was a studio that we worked in in Taipei. Um, but, you know, once again, the style the picture has, half the picture there's incarceration is in a prison cell. A cell, granted, it has bars you could see through, you can see right half, wooden bars, and that... Um, helped me define in my mind visually what was important to see it from Rodriguez's point of view. 